Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Thornburg. What is the appropriate timing between vaccines? If you follow the CDC schedule, you're going to have eight weeks between the primary series vaccines. So that is you'll receive shots at two months, at four months, at six months, and then again at nine, 12, 15, and 18 months old. There are no shots between 18 months old and four years old. You can watch a previous video where I describe the increased neurological excitability. So if you were to administer a vaccine, research shows that you're more likely to have a seizure during that period. So it's essentially a blackout period. That's why you don't see vaccines during that time. And then again, at four, the neurological system calms down. So they resume vaccines with the boosters at four years old. Now, you'll see that the vaccine timing is two months or three months in that full birth till 18 month old period. I do not believe that that is a safe timing. When we administer a vaccine, what we're doing is we're giving a toxin or we are giving a dead bacteria or a virus or we are giving an attenuated virus. And so the immune system recognizes these substances as foreign and mounts an attack, just like we contracted the actual disease. The cytokines are produced, our inflammation markers go up, our T cells are activated, and this is what we want the system to do to provide immunity later against those diseases. However, the inflammation remains well past that two-month mark. We still have an elevated CRP, and we also have increased levels of cytokines. And so we essentially have inflammation throughout our body while we are recovering from the previous vaccines. And before our body has a chance to fully recover from the previous vaccines, we're administering new vaccines. And so the body stays in a constant state of inflammation for those first 18, two years of life. That is not a good outcome because as we have seen, children today have a much higher incidence of chronic disease compared to the past past. Is all of this increased inflammation part of the cause? I would argue yes, and that's why I say the two-month spacing between vaccines is not appropriate. It needs to be longer. At a minimum, it should be three months, and ideally, it's six months. And why do I say three to six months old? We know if we administer an oral steroid, we cannot administer the MMR shot or the varicella shot, basically the live attenuated vaccines, for six months. It affects our immune system for that long. One oral course a five-day course of oral steroids affects our immune system for six months. So if we reverse engineer that and we administer a vaccine with the toxins, the dead bacteria virus, or an attenuated virus, it takes that long for the immune system to calm back down. If you're looking for a safer path, ask your pediatrician to allow you to space out the vaccines beyond the two or three months that the schedule allows for. Thank you for watching.